Hey guys, it's me Max Rainbow and I'm back for another video. So today I'm super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Eurovision 2024. In this video I'm going to be reacting to the Netherlands entry called Europapa by Joost Klein. I'm so excited to get in this reaction. This is one of my favorite entries of this year. I am absolutely in love with Joost. They are one of those artists that I'm just like literally so thankful for Eurovision for me to discover them, find their music because their entire discography, everything, I'm just like literally in love with him so much to the point where I got a matching crazy frog tattoo so if you see that so I'll get a little closer to the camera so you can see I got a matching crazy frog tattoo Yost Klein has it in the exact same spot I grew up watching crazy frog so I just kind of was more so inspired by the fact that he had that tattoo I was like oh that's a really good tattoo I kind of want a crazy frog tattoo as well but I also got it in that place and in that specific pose because of him because I'm just I literally love uh, Yost Klein so much so Yost I have been on a hunt for a Dutch husband and Dot Bob hasn't really been working out like you know we haven't gotten married yet so I think I, I should change my campaign to Yost Klein so uh Yost Klein will you marry me um this is my official proposal but uh with, anyways without further ado let's get right into reacting before we get into this reaction I want to remind you all that us as fans hold so much power tv shows like Eurovision would not exist if it wasn't for fans like us who love the contest so much that engage with it every single year you know we're the people that are going to the contest that are spending the money on tickets that are spending the money to vote unfortunately the EBU and Eurovision has become complicit in allowing Israel to spread propaganda through the lens of the contest sending a song specifically about the attacks on October 7th while actively censoring anybody in the contest who chooses to be critical of Israel. I know a lot of fans like me are frustrated because this is not the morals of the contest that we fell in love with. I encourage every single fan to make their voices heard but also we must remember that the EBU and that Eurovision is a business. That's why it's essential that if you believe in peace and that you are against the genocide that you do not give money to the EBU in the form of voting, in the form of ticket sales, in the form of merch and I encourage everybody to donate what you might have spent voting this Eurovision season towards a pro-Palestinian organization like I did. So I chose to donate to the World Central Kitchen, which is an organization that provides food to people in crisis. I'll leave some links in the description down below to some organizations that you can donate to. These are really dark days for us in the contest, but I believe we can work together as a fandom to make some positive change. So keep speaking up and let your voices be heard. And remember, at the end of the day, we believe in peace and love and humanity for everyone in this world. And yeah, guys, with that being said, on to the reaction. Okay, yes, come on. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Hold on, wait. What am I looking at right now? <laughs> that is so fucking stupid. It's like this stretched out face on the stage. <laughs> I just, I knew this was going to be so unserious already going into this. Okay, anyways. Oh my god. <laughs> He's got such an infectious little smile. I love when he goes into this voice. Of course his voice was like a little, um, like, you know, it's very soft. So he can't really project it when he's singing. He's not really much of a singer. He's more so like a rapper. So that wasn't as strong. But I love when he goes into this deep voice. And I love his fucking emotion. I love him as a performer. Like, he's just kind of a genius. Like, he gets exactly what he's doing and he goes for it 100%. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many stupid elements of this, like, that screen says, I even lost the visuals for this part. Sorry, I'm looking for them. 86% complete. There's just so much, so much humor to this. There are so many smart things that they choose to do with this performance. There's so much humor to this, and it's a deep song, but they know exactly how to get your attention and remember them. This is a total meme song, meme performance, things to grab your attention, and they know what they're doing. He's such a good performer. Europapa, 
Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. His fucking smile, the way he like raises his eyebrows, I don't even know how you could do that face. And the fucking chicken! I kind of feel like he shouldn't sing the Uro, you know? I think he should just, if you're gonna uh, let the backing track just do that whole part, just let it do the whole part. Because when he goes Uro, and then ba 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 ba, it's not high enough, so you can really hear the difference between when he's saying Udo and then the pa 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 pa. He should just either let it be fully playback or try to sing along. That's what I think. He's a genius with branding, everything like that though. The style, the fucking stupid fucking food plates and everything behind him. Bye. <laughs> and then you take it back. No, we're actually very serious here. Oh, and now it's like soft, it's emotional. Oh, there's there's fire, there's pain. There's family. Hey! What are you saying? I don't care who you are. Yes. I don't care where you go. So real. Yes. Come on. Hey. Okay! I love that. I love the like just doom 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 doom. We take us to the rave. We will rave. Come on, Kayleen. And then I like the hoo 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 hoo. Oh, oh, we're wobbling into it. Okay. You know, I, I don't know. He's just such a fucking good, smart performer. Everything about this is so smart. Like every decision that they make is fully thought out from beginning to end, it tells a story, but it makes you think because you're watching it and you're like, this is fucking stupid. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Literally Netherlands, what is this joke? But when you really get it, you get it. You get exactly what they're going for, the aesthetic, the vision, everything like that. It's so smart. Hey! Oh, at the end of the day, we're all human beings. My father told me once that the world has no borders. I miss you every day, is what I whisper to myself. You see, Dad, I did listen to you. From me to my parents. That, I mean, that is just amazing because that's the thing. It is a very deep song. It has very deep meaning, especially to Yoast. And the way that they present it is so smart because it's like a la toy from Netta where it's like, oh, this stupid, cheesy, dumb uh, presentation of it. It sounds to, oh, this girl making chicken, no chicken noises, one Eurovision. What is this joke? But it's not a joke. It was like a very, you know, important song about female empowerment and body positivity. And this is a song that looks like a joke, but I like that they bring it home in the end and it reminds you what the meaning of the song is about. It's just really amazing to see because you know that this was such a dream for him. He tells the story about how his family, about how he used to watch uh, Eurovision. I believe, I don't know if it was with his family or with his dad, but had a lot of meaning to him growing up and then he was orphaned at a very young age. And so to finally be here on the stage, it's like a full circle moment. And you know, it's that pain that you feel where, you know, you reach your dreams, you're here in this moment, but your parents would have been so proud of you, but they're not here to see you. And that's so, that's like really sad to, uh, to think about and see, but it's also really inspiring to see like, you know, you don't let those moments make you lose sight of your dreams. In fact, you go towards them so that your parents can be proud of you, whether or not they're still here on this earth. So it's a really beautiful performance, really beautiful message. Netherlands, I think this is your best entry ever. So yeah, guys, that is it for my reaction to the Netherlands entry for Eurovision 2024. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you thought about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other videos that I do. As well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, at Max Rainbow, so you don't miss any post polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah, guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.